This is our video number 18 on payroll accounting in Dell ERP 9. And this is our last video on the payroll section. So in this video, we are just checking the payroll reports, the most common payroll reports we have in Dell ERP 9. So we, we will go in the statements of payroll. We can check single pay slip. We can check multiple pay slip. We can also print the pay slip, alt P. We can check the pay sheet, we can check the payroll statement, the payroll register, employee profiles, employee headcount. Uh, we can check the employee pay head breakup, pay, uh, pay head employees breakup. We can check the attendance sheet, we can check the attendance register, and we can check the expat reports also, the contracts report, the visa expiry, Emirates ID expiry report. So, how to check these payroll reports in Dell ERP 9? So for that, we need to go in display, enter. In display, we have payroll reports, enter. In payroll reports, we have this statement of payroll, enter. So first, we have this pay slip, enter. In the pay slip, you can check individual employee pay slip, or you can select this multiple pay slip. So I'm going to check right now single pay slip, enter. So I'm going to select for this employee, which is Ali, working under the accounts department and in the by office. So you can press enter. So here, that is the employee, uh, that number, which is 100, the function, the designation, the location, that is a bank information, date of joining. So when we are creating the employee, that time you need to enter all this information. That is the labor card, number, passport detail, visa expiry date. So these are all that information you need to mention it when you are creating individual employee. So that is the attendance detail. He was absent for one day and he's uh, and he have a overtime of 10 hours. And that is his total earning. The basic salary is this much because he was absent for one day. His uh, basic salary actually it is 10,000. Then we have a conveyance allowance. We have a house rent allowance. We have overtime which is 150. And uh, these all are the, his earnings. On the right side, we have his deduction. So he took a loan. So monthly loan deduction is 2,000 dirham. So that is her, uh, that is his total earnings. 14,397.80 fills for the month of January. And that is his total deduction for the month of January, which is 2,000. So the net amount payable, the net amount which is paid or payable, that is 12,397.80 fills. So that is a total salary. So that is a pay slip for this employee Ali for the month of January. So after this, next that is uh, that pay slip. You can also print the pay slip. You can select that uh, Alt P. You can click this option to print this pay slip also. Or you can use the short key which is Alt P to print your pay slip. Next, we have this pay sheet. Pay sheet, it is a list of all your employees. If you go back, here we have this pay sheet. Enter. And I want to select for all items. Enter. And for all the departments. Enter. So now look, that is for all employees. That is our pay sheet report for this company and for this accounting period for January 1st, 2020 till 31st, January 2020. So that is in, in, the, in the particulars. We have all the uh, employees and the location, their offices, departments, location, departments, and individual employees are here. So that is a total basic salary for Batman. And for overall, for all that employees, the basic salary is this 26,354. That is a total bonus we paid for all that employees for the month of January. Conveyance allowance. There is no holiday pay. House rent allowance. Overtime. The total overtime we paid for the month of January, that is 410. And the total earnings, that is this much. And then we have a deduction is there, that it once again salary is 500. We have a loan also, that is 2,700. And then total deduction is 3,200. Uh, 3, and that is the total salary which we paid. That is the net amount, the total salary which we paid for the month of January 
40,105.60 fields. So this is our pay sheet report. You can go back after the pay sheet. We can also check the payroll statement. So here we have this payroll statement. Enter. In payroll statement, you can check list of the pay heads. Like, let's suppose you want to know that how much basic salary we paid for uh, for the current month, for the month of January. You can press enter. That is the total uh, that uh, the payroll, that is a payroll statement for this pay head basic salary uh, for the, this accounting period and the total basic salary we paid for the month of January. That is 26,354 dirham. Similarly, if you want, if your boss, he wants to know that how much bonus we paid for the month of January. So you can go in the payroll statement and here we have this, uh, the bonus or overtime. You have overtime, enter, so which is 410. So that is a, this is how you can take individual pay head report also. So that what you can find in the payroll statement. After the payroll statement, we have the payroll register. Then we have payroll register, enter. So uh, that is for the month of January. Enter total, five vouchers are enter. So that is the total uh, that uh, different vouchers that uh, we enter in the payroll register. So you can press enter, drill down the report and you can individually check the payroll vouchers. So this is our payroll register. Then you, okay, after payroll register, next we have uh, employee profiles. So we can go in this employee profiles, enter. You can select that the list of employee categories. So right now I'm gonna select all items and for all the departments, enter. So you can see here that uh, that is employee name, that is Ali. The category, he is in Dubai office. Display in, uh, name in the reports, that is Ali. That is your employee details, profile that employee master records detail, that he is working under accounts department, employee number is this, date of joining is this, designation is accountant. If you move on on the right side, uh, it will and, uh, it will show you all the report of the master record which you created for this employee, the labor card, uh, bank name, branch, account number, passport information, uh, mobile, email, blurred group, contract detail. So it will give you that all that employee uh, that uh, master information in this employee profile report. So go back. Next we have after this employee profile report, we have employee headcount. So next we have employee headcount, press enter. So the employee headcount means that how many employees we have currently working. So opening balance is one, then newly joined is three, so closing balance, we have four employees working uh, till January and their total earnings, that is this amount, the total deductions, that is 3,200 and we paid the salary, the net salary we paid for the month of January, that is 40,105.60 fails. This, uh, that is a salary and wages payment. This report, that is employee headcount. Headcount means that how many employees you have uh, working in the company, uh, what is the opening balance, then how, how many employees they newly joined, how many employees they resign or retired, and what is the closing balance of the employees. So that is our employee headcount report. After that, uh, we have employee pay head breakup. So it will show us the pay head breakup report, so which is employee pay head uh, breakup report, enter. So if you go in the basic salary, enter. So it will show us that this is employee breakup of pay head. And for this company, for this accounting period, so that is our Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi office. And this is our department, which is marketing department. And that is a total salary which we paid to the marketing department. And that is our Dubai office. And for the Dubai office, we paid 20,500 uh, uh, 548 dirhams and under that we paid to the accounts department this much basic salary uh, to the HR department we paid this much basic salary because this is the uh, that uh, employee breakup of pay head report and we are checking right now the pay head basic salary that how much basic salary we paid department wise offices wise location wise 
So that is our employee pay head breakup report. Similarly, you can check pay head employees breakup. So that is our next report pay head, uh, pay head employee breakup report. So in pay head employee breakup report, you can press enter. Uh, that is our first employee, which is Ali. Press enter. So you can see here that is our like current liabilities are there. We have the, uh, current assets, direct expenses or indirect expenses. You can uh, drill down this report. You can check this report in detail also. So it will show us that in the indirect expenses, we have the basic salary which we paid is this much. Convenience allowance is this much. House rent allowance is this much. Then we have the salary payable, uh, payable. we have loans, we have other uh, direct expenses, which is overtime. So this is our employee that uh, pay head employee breakup report. Okay, so next report we're going to check here that is attendance sheet. So for that, we need to go one step back and now we have this attendance sheet. Press enter. So that is our attendance sheet for this accounting period. And we have different columns here. We have absent column, we have overtimes, we have presence, and we have sick leaves. So this employee, Ali, he was absent for one day. John Wick, he was absent for five days, but they work 10, 10 overtime, 10 hours for overtime. And this HR under the HR department, Wonder Woman, she worked one hour as an overtime. So this is our attendance sheet. Can go one step back and then we have attendance register report so the next report is that is our attendance register report so how to check this presenter and this is for the month of january so total vouchers are four enter so if you look here these are the total four vouchers for this employee ali that is an absent pay if you press enter drill this report enter so he was absent for one day and he have and he has an overtime of 10 hours so that is the attendance register report. Go back. Similarly, you can check for the John Vick and he was absent for five days. And that is the attendance uh, that report. Similarly, you can check for his uh, that overtime also. So press enter. So he also spent, he also worked 10 hours as a overtime. So this is how you can check your attendance register report. Next report is the expect uh, expect reports here it will show you your uh, the list of all that employees uh, what are their passport expiry date uh, visa expiry date or contract expiry date you can press enter and you can click on this period also for which accounting period you want to check the report you can give the range and once you give the range so it will show us that when the contract starts the date of joining and what is the contract expiry date so this uh, this is our expat uh, that expat report. Similarly, we have this graduate also. You can press enter, and uh, I'm gonna select the uh, the graduate for the period. Let's assume it from 01 01 2018. Enter, and that is for two years. Enter, and if you go for this employee, which is Ali, enter. So look, that is employee name. That is a graduate report. So the employee name is Ali, date of joining is this, uh, till the date, uh, the contract date is, for example, it is 31st January 2020. So number of month he worked, that is 13.20. Uh, and uh, graduate day of a month, that is 30. And that is a basic salary. So for one, uh, for the first year, he's eligible for 21 days, that is 7,000. For the second year, it is also 7,000. So the, for the two years, as per the UA graduate law, he will get 14,000 dirham. So this is how you can check your uh, that payroll related reports in Tele ERP-9.